I try to make critics about the tactics that our coach use and how he can be better. Um, so how do you think your team will fare this year? Then? How will they do this year? I think they're going to reach the final, uh, maybe against Portugal. And then it's going to be a tough match, I guess. Okay, so why do you think your team has the ability to go all the way ahead? Well, it's, uh, it's like oh, it's like a, a stereotype, but <laughs> Europe, Europe, and South America, we have the best uh, football. And uh, Germany came with a young team. I don't think they're gonna make it go anywhere. Uh, Russia is the host, but I don't know how uh, how strong they can be, even by being a host. So I think Portugal is left, and Chile is left. Do you think Russia will be helped by all the home crowds and all the fans here? They, tomorrow, if they make a big deal here in the in this stadium, I mean they were lucky by the draw because they could the play with Portugal in uh, San Petersburg or in Kazan or in Sochi, but they play here in Moscow. I was very lucky for them because here in Moscow is where the real fans are and this is where this is the home. So tomorrow, Portugal will feel the pressure for sure. Um, okay, so explain to us what you're doing on this lovely whiteboard here and what some of these pieces mean. Okay, what I'm doing right now is, uh, I don't know if you remember, but Chile beat uh, Mexico 7-0 last year. Yes. <laughs> so I, every time I start a video, I have that team here okay. in my board. And then when I start talking about a particular match, I remove the players and I put the players who actually play because I want to remind people all the time about this team. This is the best team Chile has. This is the team that Chile just play every time they play, except very particular cases that you may be adapt to the other team. But this is the team I call, actually I made a call for uh, the coach, PC, if he plays with this team and he lose, I close, I shut down my YouTube channel. Oh, okay, so uh, we, let's hope he listens to you then, right? Huh? Let's hope he listens to your advice. I hope he uses it because I want to be Ch I want to see Chile champion all the time, winning all the time. So it, uh, he's not gonna lose. I'm completely sure about that. Okay, so you point to this one. This is the coach. This is the coach because his last name is Pisi. Oh, makes sense. Yes. <laughs> and and what else? What are these players then? Okay, this is a soccer ball I use sometimes oh, for cool. this. So uh, the nick this I have personalized. Uh, Tokens, so I don't know how to do, say this. Uh, yeah, like, um, like magnets, I guess. Yeah, like magnets, magnets. Yeah. yes, there you go. Magnets for uh, for every player that plays in that in that match. So okay? explain to yes. us, but So this one Nigerian is fans. Captain America. Ah, okay. It means Claudio Bravo because he's the captain of the team. Ah, okay. So Captain America. Yeah. Then the nickname of uh, Gary Medel is the Pitbull. Uh -huh. So this is a Pitbull. Okay. okay? This is very famous unfortunate story i don't know you know about copa yes, america the do. finger uh -huh. so you know which this player maybe you don't know his name but you remember yeah i remember okay this is this player uh gonzalo jara mm -hmm. i represent him with a finger for this story the then screen, huh? yeah the finger yeah, against the white. Yeah. so then uh we have here is this a duck donald duck. because this is a <laughs> yes this is a marcelo diaz and he his nickname is the duck one of his several mm -hmm. nicknames. Mm -hmm. Then if we have Kian Posejur, he's from Haiti, the, the parents, or one, his father is from Haiti. Okay. So, we usually in Chile, everybody's like Indian, like me, but he's a little bit darker. <laughs> ah, okay. So this is why this is the so color for him. Tanned, yes. <laughs> so uh, this is a player, it's a uh, Juan Salida, mm -hmm. but he, very, he looks very, his nickname come because he looks very similar to an Argentinian player. Okay. Uh, so they say it looks like him, so let's call him the same nickname as him. Uh. And his, his nickname uh, in Argentina, they have a word for crazy, and they call this oh, other guy like that. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Um, just use my phone a second. Okay. I'll ask you the same question again. Um, okay, okay, sure. No problem. Let's hope you don't cut out in this one. Um, let me know if you um, need to adjust it or anything. Is it right way? Just make sure your finger doesn't cover that. That otherwise it's pretty easy. Just double click. Yeah, if your finger cover up the microphone, yeah. you won't listen to anything. So 
Mind the finger. Okay. So okay, so this is Pine yeah, Salina. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait a second. Ready? Okay, so this is Juan Salida. His nickname comes from another Argentina player that is very similar to him. And this other um, player from Argentina, uh, his nickname is Crazy. But in Argentina, they use a word for crazy that for us is like the lip of a Coke or something like ah, this. Okay, the coffee of a soda. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So I put this is a soda pop. Ah. So you've got to put a magnet on the back. I put a magnet on the back and then smile just to make uh -huh, something different. Yeah. Then we have here uh, Arturo Vidal, mm -hmm. the King Arthur, that's okay. his nickname. Of course, we got a crown. So, and this one is a very funny story because uh, this is Charles Arangis. He's played for Bayern Leverkusen. Right. He's a uh, Prince Charles. Uh -huh, okay. But it's really hard to find a magnet with Prince. I have the Prince on it. So I got a princess magnet. Uh -huh. And I wasn't sure about using it, uh -huh. but then a friend of mine uh, told me, hey, maybe you can get uh, female attention if you use this for your videos. Well, you got some of my attention. There you go. <laughs> there you go. So this one is uh, uh, Eduardo Vargas. Okay. Eduardo, now the, his new nickname okay. is Eduardo Vargas. Vargas, okay. Do you know what Bar means? No. Bar is this new referee technology. Ah, okay. So yeah, he has yeah. scored two goals, and ah. both goals has to be reviewed yeah. by the bar. Ah, okay. So VAR technology. Yes. Ah, I get it. So he scored two goals here in this stadium uh -huh. two days ago, and both goals have to be reviewed. One of the them was void, and the other one was valid. There we go. So he has a tattoo here for Michael Jordan, long ago when I started my YouTube channel, but now he has a bigger thing because everybody was making fun of him. Well, you have oh. a basketball player if you play soccer. <laughs> we like all sports here, so we don't mind. Yeah, <laughs> but he changed it. He changed it. Never. And then this is uh, Eduardo Puch. Yes, because he has a band and he also plays music. Ah, uh, he's a musician. So he's kind of, musical, like as a hobby, <laughs> yes. And this is Alexis Sanchez. He plays for Arsenal. Okay. You might be familiar. Yes. <laughs> so Niño Maravilla, Batman and Robin. In, yes. in Spanish, Niño Maravilla is like Wonder Boy. Batman and Robin. Okay. So this is a Robin. Ah, so we've got a little Robin superhero there. Yeah, this is like the team version of Robin. Ah, uh, okay. For new <laughs> generations. There we go, learning something. So that's pretty much it. This is PC, the coach. The coach. Okay. And the only, because I love cats, <laughs> the only player from the bench that has personalized okay. uh, magnet is the cat. Is his uh, Francisco Silva. <laughs> so his, his nickname is Silva Cat. And he also scored the last penalty in the. Special, yeah, special the last penalty the in the Copa Centenario, who may gave us the victory. That's brilliant. Yes.